Hey guys, welcome back to today's video, which is part of a mini series here on my channel. This week, guys, we are talking all about DIY at home skincare that you can make in your own kitchen. I know. I know you guys are used to me reviewing luxury products or really expensive products here on my channel, things that cost so much money that are full of potentially harmful chemicals. This week I decided to totally dedicate to DIY natural and organic skincare, which I've never really talked about before. So whether this is the first video you're seeing in this series or maybe part two or three, make sure you check out the playlist down below. I'll have everything linked down there. If you're new to my channel guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Of course, if you're not new to my video, welcome back. It's great to see you again. Without further ado, let's dive right into today's video, another do-it-yourself face mask. Okay guys, so for today's DIY face mask, we are doing a caffeine face mask, a caffeine scrub, a caffeine exfoliator, a coffee face mask, whatever you want to call this. The only thing you need is one ingredient, and that's just some coffee grinds. This simple face mask is made with only one ingredient, guys, and it's really meant to stimulate circulation, really give you youthful, alert, vibrant, awake skin. You know exactly what a cup of coffee does. Okay, so because this is the DIY Natural Face Week, I'm not going to use a mask face brush today. I'm just going to go right in with my fingers and scoop up a bunch of coffee grinds. Oh no, this could get really messy. Oh, it's falling everywhere already. I've made a huge mess already. Ooh. Okay, now this is interesting. This is gonna be great for exfoliation. Oh my gosh, the coffee grinds are falling everywhere. Oh, oh my gosh, it's falling everywhere, guys. Trevor, what are you doing? What, <gasps> what are you doing? Okay guys, so there's a couple amazing benefits with the topical use of caffeine. It's actually said to stimulate hair growth as well as increase circulation. It's also a potent antioxidant that's really gonna help protect the skin from aging. Increase the production of elastin and collagen in your own skin, I mean, amazing. It's also said to reduce inflammation and redness. Now guys, I've heard some crazy uses for coffee. I've heard everything from using it as a self tanner, using it as a hair dye. You can use it on your entire body as an exfoliator. Supposedly it works amazing for cellulite. Now I love coffee, so I love the smell of this face mask. I do feel like I got a really good exfoliation as I was applying it around the face. Now to see if it helps reduce redness to snatch up under my eye contour area because I want to look woken up. Now everything I read online it says that you can do this mask one or two times a week. In my personal life when I'm not on YouTube I always face mask in the morning so this is a face mask that I think I would do all the time because I make a coffee every morning. So like how amazing just make your morning coffee, do a nice face mask, rinse it off and you should feel so awake on the outside and the inside. Magic. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this face mask on for about 20 minutes, then I'm gonna give it a rinse off. I'll meet you guys right back here and we'll see the results. All right guys, it's been about 25 minutes since I've had the face mask on. Let me tell you, when I was washing it off, it was a little bit painful because those coffee grinds are not the smallest. So I had to go very gently, just in circular motions around the skin, but I will say the coffee grinds were pretty rough. So that being said, make sure if you try this mask at home to go very gently when you rinse it off. That can be the downside to some of those physical exfoliators. They can actually be rough and damage the skin. So make sure you're being very very gentle. Now my skin doesn't feel hydrated at all, it actually feels pretty dry, but I mean I didn't expect the coffee to hydrate my skin very much. If I wanted hydration I could have added honey, that would have added a little bit of moisture in there as well, but I really wanted to see just how the caffeine, how the coffee worked on its own, so definitely no hydration. But my skin does feel very smooth from the exfoliation. All through my forehead here is very smooth along my eyes, along my nose, where all of my buildup is, that's all very smooth, which is exactly what I would have expected. Now I will say that my skin does look pretty bright, alert, and awake and it could look like some of the redness has actually disappeared. I do have red undertones in my skin, so I'm always looking for things to combat redness. But as far as increasing circulation, boosting collagen, boosting elastin, all of those things will take time and repeated use. Anyway guys, that is a wrap on my do-it-yourself coffee face mask, DIY coffee face mask, so many uses for coffee grinds. I have learned so many things this week like using olive oil, honey, sugar, coffee, green tea. Testing out these at-home face masks and DIY face masks, I mean, Brilliant. So make sure you check out every video in this series. I'll have them all linked down below and in cards all around here. If you need more of me in between now and next video, you know exactly where to find me. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. If you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. Bye guys.